Hi, welcome to Flow Living TV. I'm Elisa Vitti, founder of flowliving.com. So happy to have you here today. Today we're talking about IVF and what to do, what not to do, what about the hormone injections, should we detox? Lindsay has a great question I wanted to share with you. She asks, what's the best way to utilize infertility treatments? I've taken the synthetic estrogen injections, did a round of IVF, primed with estradiol, and then injected with a host of other drugs. Do I do a liver cleanse? Do I detox? Should I take Vitex? How do I regain hormonal balance after all of this injection? So many women want to conceive naturally, and so many women are struggling with infertility, and so many more women are going through the whole IVF process, IUI process. And we want to know how do we best navigate this whole experience. And if you're one of the women who are asking that question and listening to this video, I, I put you in a category of women who are ahead of your time. Because oftentimes when it comes to medicine, we just sort of do what the standard procedure is and we, we don't think about what our part could play in optimizing our fertility or making that whole procedure more successful. But when it comes to IVF, there's a lot that you can do to help yourself not only have a better experience during the process, and of course have a more successful outcome but even after the process if it isn't successful in order for you to quickly detox from all of that experience of the injectables. So one of the things that happens to women when they do multiple rounds of IVF is they end up in a situation where that estrogen is in such a concentration in the body that for some women they become vulnerable to something called ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome. And this is where there's a fluid buildup around the ovary and it makes it difficult for ovulation, can be very painful, and ends up putting you in a position where you have to delay subsequent rounds of IVF. So in order for you to go through this process successfully, I want you to be thinking about what you can do before you do the IVF so you don't end up sort of stuck in the middle waiting for your body to calm down from this OHSS situation. So prior to IVF, there's a lot that you can do to get your hormones in balance, especially when it comes to estrogen metabolism. This is the hormone that you're gonna be dosed with heavily, and we want you to be able to clear that as quickly as possible. So there are a couple of foods that I'm gonna share a little bit later in the video that will help you do that. Before I do that though, for those of you who are actively in a round of IVF right now, I want you to make sure that you're changing your diet in one specific way. If you do nothing else with your diet, I want you to increase the amount of avocados you eat. In a study that was done, women who ate three avocados a week during the IVF process versus those women who did not, ended up having a three and a half greater success rate with the outcome of their IVF experience than those women who did not eat the avocados. It has to do with that monounsaturated, good vegetarian source of fat that helps stabilize hormones in the body. So eat your avocados, ladies, if you're going through IVF. Don't delay, and hopefully that will increase your likelihood of, of the successful conception. Now, for those of you who are maybe approaching a second or third round of IVF and you wanna do all that you can to boost egg quality, to make sure that estrogen is clearing from the body quickly, there are two key foods I wanna share with you. The first is watermelon. Uh, watermelon is very, very high in a substance called glutathione. It's a micronutrient that the liver stores, but also that's required for eggs to, to be their most vital form. And so all raw foods, fruits and vegetables contain levels of glutathione. So have watermelon certainly, but also increase uh, you know, green juices or your fresh fruits intake before you lead up to, the, to your next cycle of IVF will really help boost that egg quality through increasing glutathione levels. Simultaneously, because glutathione is required by the liver in phase one and phase two of detoxification, it's also gonna help you break down estrogen. And estrogen is a double-edged sword. A little bit, just the right amount, is wonderful for fertility, and too much can be problematic for fertility. So we wanna keep having our estrogen be stabilized in good, healthy, monounsaturated fats, but we also want them to be leaving the body as quickly, and glutathione is a nutrient that can do that for you. The second food that I want you to increase before your next round of IVF is Brazil nuts. 
These little nuts, well, they're kind of big, but they're small little doses that you'll give yourself, two to four nuts a day. Um, wonderful sources of selenium. Selenium is another important micronutrient, both for the liver in terms of that phase one and phase two of detoxification. So for those of you who are concerned about all the injectables, make sure you get those Brazil nuts in. But also, again, for egg quality and for ovarian health, selenium has been shown to be a wonderful substance when it comes to enhancing fertility. So just, I hope that you're inspired to take a little bit more of a proactive approach with changing your diet for conception, both before you go through IVF and after if you need to do another round, using food to help you improve egg quality, improve the liver's ability to break down estrogen is something you can have control over in an experience that feels a little bit out of your control. Think about it this way. Once you get pregnant, you're gonna to wanna to eat beautifully throughout that pregnancy to make sure that you give your child everything that it needs to grow and develop inside of you. You also wanna be thinking about that before you get pregnant. So taking on the flu living protocol is absolutely a way to prepare your body optimally for fertility. Now I wanna hear from you. Tell me what you thought of this video by leaving a comment in the box below. And if you have a burning question that you need answered, email us at info at flowliving.com. Every woman should feel good all month long and have an easy time getting pregnant if she wants to. I want you to join our community and experience your new normal of health and vitality.